Hello. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? I know you are okay, and I know God is taking care of you. Good morning, and may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Our topic today is take care of your body. Are you a woman? Take care of your body. Are you a man? Take care of your body. It's very important. And we are going to discuss three ways to take care of our bodies. When we were made in God's image, so since God is made up of three, Father, Son, and Spirit, it makes sense that we are also made up of three, mind, body, and spirit. In order to take care of ourselves, we must be healthy, spiritually, physically, and mentally. If one area struggles, we struggle as a whole. How do you take care of yourself in these three areas? Now, we are going to start in spiritual health. In Galatians chapter 5, 25, Paul wrote, If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Paul is saying that in order to be healthy spiritually, you must live in such a way that it is revealed in your daily life. So what does this look like? Just like we need to eat daily to stay physically healthy, we need to nourish ourselves to stay spiritually healthy. Spiritual knowledge, nourishment comes from time spent with God in His Word. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 says, Every time we read the Bible, listen for Jesus' voice and do what He says, we are feeding ourselves spiritually. Second, we need the community within the church. Paul writes that we are the body of Christ and that one member can't function without the other members. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 12 to 27 just like physically the body can't function properly without one of its members spiritually we can't be healthy apart from each other we weren't meant to do life alone we were made for community second physical health paul writes that our body is the temple of the holy spirit first corinthians 6 19 because of this it is important to stay healthy physically what does this look like getting serious about eating well and exercising regularly and whenever you are sick please go to the doctor go and meet your doctor before you want something else to do go and meet your doctor so the doctor will know what is really wrong with you you will be probably heard the saying garbage in garbage out what you put into your body you will eat, get out of it that doesn't mean we, we all have to be like pepper eating only spinach and swearing of all things but we can watch what we eat maybe instead of eating something fried have it grilled maybe instead of eating something with a lot of fat eat something with protein and carbohydrate instead of serving room for dessert maybe finish the meal and skip out on dessert little twits can lead to big pigs in addition to being good stewards of what we put in our body to be physically healthy we also have to exercise this looks different for everyone maybe you run a few times a week maybe you like to ride your bike or lift weights at the gym Whatever it is, commit to starting somewhere. Start small and work your way up to doing more. The most important thing is to be committed. You probably won't see any results in a week. It might take up to a month before you start seeing some improvements. But whatever it is that you set out to do is the key. Consistency. Okay? Number three is mental health. You know now people are suffering mental health so much because of depression and troubles everywhere. Do not allow, allow yourself to be so, please. Your thoughts are vital in taking care of yourself. What we think about is so important to our health. The Paul teaches that the way our lives are transformed 
is through the renewing of our minds. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Paul later writes to the Philippians with practical instructions for how to do this think on things that are true, noble, just, pure, lovely, good virtues, and praiseworthy. Philippians 4 it. Do your thoughts consistent of, of these things? Jesus says the prodigal son went from eating with the pigs to eating at his father's table. When we change his thinking, Luke chapter 15 17, don't allow corrupt thinking to pull you down. Renew your mind. Renew your mind. Take good care of yourself. At anywhere you are, whatever you are doing, please try to take good care of yourself. Do not say, I'm, I'm okay. You are not okay. Go to the hospital, let them check you, and the doctor will tell you what is really wrong with you. And then you will be able to do what you want to do and understand yourself very well. Now, some people will ask this question and say, What does the Bible say about owing your body? First Corinthians 6 19 20 said, do you know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have to take good care of ourselves. Exercise, eat healthy, and do what is right. Always take care of yourself. So many people are dying because they don't take good care of themselves. Don't say because I'm this, I'm a pastor, I'll pray it out. Yes, prayer is very good. But you have to go and take care of yourself. So you will live longer. May the good Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.